Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anita Wong and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your first course inside of the Thinkific course platform area. So Thinkific is where you can create and sell your online courses and it comes with everything built in. So basically you can upload your videos and it hosts your videos, you can have downloads, PDFs, quizzes and surveys and it's an all-in-one course area where you can check out and manage all of your students. So in order for you to create your first course you do need to sign up for Thinkific. So if you haven't got a Thinkific account then you can go ahead and get one. Um, I'll drop the link below this video. So here you can see you can get started for free. So you can create your first course and give it a go without having to spend any money. When you're inside the dashboard, you'll come here, and the first thing we want to do to create your first course is to come up here where it says Manage Learning Products and go ahead and click Courses. Now, this is going to enable you to create a course, which is where you have all of your course content in one area and you can create modules and things like that. Now, what I would say really before you even come to creating your course you do need to come into your settings area and just make sure that everything is working in here so in other words the site name your email for people to contact you the url will be created by thinkific while you're in your free account it will assign a secure certificate so that's fine and you can then go through and modify any text that you might want the learning content, you can then dictate whether you want the colours of your brand, so add your brand colours in here, your font, your logo and of course any social sharing information you might want to do. Payments, this is where you can link your payments to it. So there's a Thinkific payments, this is using Stripe and you can use that to take payments for you and it will be a step by step process. You can also come in here to find um, some information about how people can place their orders and the accounts. And if you have any code that you might want to put in here, maybe a Facebook pixel or your Google pixels and things like that, pop them in here. And of course, you can have a look at what's planned for the um, what's happening in Thinkific in the future. So do the settings first. It makes it so that when you're creating your course, a lot easier for things to work seamlessly. So come up here to the left where it says manage learning products and go to courses. Now to create a course all you would need to do is come up here and click new course. Now if you want to find out what all of these things along here in the dashboard do then be sure to hit that subscribe button on my channel because that will be the next video. I will run through the dashboard and the basic settings of Thinkific for you because I know that what most people do is jump in and want to make the course so that's why this video is about how to get your first course up but I do encourage you to check out the other videos on my channel about how to set up Thinkific properly. Go ahead and press new course. Now Thinkific is going to give you some choices for your course and they are going to be a blank course, a pre-sell, in other words you can have a course up there and pre-sell it before it launches, a mini course, a flagship course, a web webinar replay or a membership resource library. So there's quite a lot of different options. I'm just going to go for a blank course for now. I'm just going to show you how to create your first course using a blank template. So go ahead and choose that option. Now you can give your course a name. Okay, so go ahead and click create course and Thinkific is going to create that course for you. Now it's going to create this framework that you can then come into and make your own. So the first thing is the curriculum. Here you can see you have your curriculum and you can add chapters. So the first chapter would possibly be your introduction. So click add chapter and then do here it's like and click save. So this is the chapter or module setting. Now what you have to do is you have to add a lesson to that module or chapter. So here you can click add lesson and this is where the magic happens with Thinkific because this is how easy it is for you to get everything done. So you can have a video, you can have text, you can have downloads, multimedia, PDFs, audio, presentations, live, you can do quizzes, assignments, surveys and exams. It's entirely up to you 
what you do. So let's choose a video for the first one. So here is where you can upload your video. Now, when you upload your video to the Thinkific Coursera, it actually hosts that video for you. This is one of the big advantages. You don't need to pop your video onto YouTube and then put the link in here. You don't need to use a third party tool to host your videos. It's all going to happen inside of Thinkific. So all you need to do is select a file so I'm just going to grab a file from my computer, um, a quick little video. So I'm just going to grab a little video. And what you do then is you just upload that video into your computer and press open. And it's going to pull that video into the Thinkific account and it will just upload it for you. Now, you do need to keep this page open while it's uploading. So while it's working, you can add your titles, YouTube. So you can add your title in there like so. You can also come down here and you can add text if you want to. So you can add text that goes alongside your video. You can also add downloadable content as well. I would recommend that you do these one at a time. So wait for the video to come up, save it and then come in and add your download. It doesn't work well if you're trying to do lots of different things because it obviously it's uploading it to the Thinkific account and you don't want to interrupt that. You can also, if you want to, come down here and make this lesson a free lesson. So if you wanted to offer some free lessons so that it encourages people to buy your course, you could make this a free lesson. You can make it a prerequisite. In other words, they have to watch this video before they move on to the next one. I like doing this, you can enable discussion. And what that does is that it will enable a discussion tab um, in this video for people to ask questions and comment and give feedback. And if you want to allow people to download this video, you can also make it downloadable. Personally, I don't think allowing them to download the video is a good idea because they're paying you for the content. You want to keep it where you have control of it. Okay, so once that's all done, we just wait for that to go and then you press save. Okay, so as you can see, it's added the video in. So now's the best time to click that save button and it's gonna save that video lesson into your player. Now it does take a bit of time for it to process. So we'll just carry on with the tutorial. So if you want to add another lesson to this particular chapter, you click add lesson. Again, you could add say like a text lesson and you can then fill in your text. So your um, text goes here and so on and click save. So just make sure you've added your text and click save. And then you can see what it looks like by clicking this preview button. So you can actually see the current lesson as it sits. So you can see what it looks like. So here you see its text goes here. We go back to the video one here. It's waiting for it to upload and that's where you'll see the video. So you can, every time you add something in, you can check what it looks like and how your learning um, cohort is going to see it. If you want to add a new chapter, you just click add chapter or module and then you just click and you keep adding these on until all of your content for your course is in. Okay, so the next thing you could do is do bulk import. So in other words, you can actually bring in all of the information you want in one go. And this is useful if you have lots and lots of videos and you don't want to do it one by one. The next bit along is really important because this is going to help your course be seen on the internet. So this is your course name. And when you've given your course a name, you automatically get your course URL. And this is the URL that you would share when you are promoting your course. And you can copy it from here by just going over it and copying it. And of course, you can also get it from the other end when you're viewing the course from outside. Also in here, you can make your course a private course or a hidden course, and you can also disable text copying. So if you don't want people to be able to copy and paste off of your content, you can disable that here. So once you're happy with this, remember to save before you move on to the next bit down. Come here to the course image and description. This is where you can do a 250 character description of your course, which will show up when people are seeing this, say like in Google or Yahoo, any of the search engines. You can also upload a thumbnail here and the thumbnail dimensions would be 760 by 420 pixels. You could use the thumbnail creator say like in Canva and that's where you would put this. You can choose individually for each course what you want the colours to be. 
and depending on your plan level will depend on whether you can alter this or not. You can have a light theme or a dark theme, so you can decide whether you want it light or dark, and you can also have a course player logo so you can brand it with your branding as well. You can see the course progress, so you can tell Thinkific what you want it to do regarding how your course members are going through, whether you want the videos to autoplay, whether they have to complete a certain percentage of the course area. You can also disable chat to completion message. You can upload a certificate if you wanted to, have a custom completion page and so on and so on. If you need to add code to the page, you can add it here. And you can also set up affiliate links, admins and so on. So if you've got a team and you want them to help you with this course, you can add them in here. SEO is super important. This will help it be found in browsers. So make sure you have your SEO title, your description and of course your keywords. These are all really important for your course to help you publicize it. This area here called drip means that you can drip feed the content to your students. So in other words, if we were to create a drip schedule, you can allow your students to have access to your course when they enroll, when they start or on a specific date. And if you do it on a specific date or any of the others, you can dictate when they get the content. So if you've got a 10 week course, you can release information weekly and they have to wait for that release to go out, which is quite, I think, quite a good idea. Pricing, depending on the level, you can do a free pricing, a one-time pricing, subscription or membership, or a monthly payment plan. And you can have more than one pricing per course. So you could offer a full payment in advance, or you could offer pay over a course of, say, three months or four or five months, depending on what you want. You also have this option to direct people to the afterflow. Now, if you don't do this, it goes automatically to the dashboard, and I would probably recommend that that's where you want them to go to unless you need them to go somewhere else specifically. Once your course has been created, you can either set it as a pre-order, so in other words, people can pre-order the course before it starts, or you can publish it so that people can see. Now, once you've published it, it will be open to the whole wide world for people to purchase. So before you do publish it um, and actually start promoting it, it's worth considering building the landing page. So there's two parts to creating your course on Thinkific. Part one, we've just gone through about how to learn your course. And the second part is actually building the landing page. So if you build the landing page, we click that. And what Thinkific is going to do is it's going to give you a website style landing page for people to see what your account looks like. Now, if we go to my current learning account, my homepage is my YouTube course. So as you can see, it looks like a normal website. You go down and you can see all these different pointers, different call to actions, different things. It has the price, how many lessons and how to buy the product and a little bit about me. So that's what you want to create using the builder. So you can start at the top. So it automatically brings the name of the product. So you click edit banner and what will happen is the heading, you can keep the automatic name or if you don't want the name of your course at the top, you can just undo this button and then you can add the name in yourself. Probably a good idea to have the name of the course at the top. You can add an image. So if you add an image, it needs to be 1,440 1, pixels by 720. And when you add an image to here, you can change the focal point so that you can move the image around to help you um, add them in. You can add one in now. Open this one up for now and click upload. This might not be the right dimensions, but we'll, we'll just give it a go. So as you can see, it's squished a little bit so I could if I wanted to bring the focal point to move it up and down and I would recommend not having writing on the banner so that you can see the writing that you've got on your title so it's entirely up to you if you don't want a picture then you can actually have a color so here you could change the color to say red and then if you wanted to you could actually make it a much darker red by changing this little um, wiggly bit here. And you could actually just have a bold color rather than an image if you wanted to. 
And the size and alignment, again, like I said, it's large at the moment, but you can have extra large, so it makes it a bit bigger. You can also have small, so it'll make it much thinner. And you can have the um, text in the center if you want to, to the right or to the left. So that's quite a nice feature. If you wanted to add a button to the top, you could add a call to action button. So in other words, a button that would encourage somebody to do something. So maybe it's like, um, by now and then you can select the destination I would if it was on the landing page here you would go to a checkout page you would click here and then you would say um, get started with video choose the price I would say free and then you just click save and basically when they click that button it will go straight to the checkout that you've already set up in the settings so if you haven't set it up you don't know how to then by all means, click the subscribe button on this video so that you get notified when I upload the basic settings of Thinkific inside of my YouTube channel. Another thing to say here, you have the curriculum has already been added in. So whatever you have in your curriculum, it will show here in this curriculum area for people to see, which is quite a nice feature. You can add new sections. So if you click add sections, you can see that there is all these different options that you can add in. So you can have all sorts of different things on your page so that people can see what's going on and that's a really good feature for you to do and to do that all you would need to do is just add on the um, options so say if I want to put a timer in it would bring in the timer and you can add those things on if you wanted to see what it looks like the best thing to do is to save what you've done and then you can actually see what it looks like on the mobile phone if you want so it actually shrinks it down for you so if we click mobile it will shrink it down and what it looks like on the desktop. So you can see how it all works and goes together. When you want to actually publicize it, you copy the link here. And if we come up here and put it into a new window, we will be able to see what our course looks like. So that's how easy it is to get your first course up. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. I know it's a little bit long, but it is useful to have it open on one window and go into your Thinkific account and work through it, starting and stopping my video, so that you can go through the different stages of how to create your own first course in Thinkific. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get more updates on how to use Thinkific and how you can use video to grow your business. My name's Anita Wong, I'm a video marketing consultant and trainer and if you have any questions about using Thinkific drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to help you out. If you want help building your own Thinkific course, then do check out my website where I offer two, four and six hour one-to-one -one sessions where I can help you build your course and we can do that together. I'll drop the link to that below this video. Other than that, check out some of my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.